one of the most intellectual from the 16 personalities of the Myers-Briggs type indicator, also known as MBTI, means introverted, intuitive thinking and judging. INTJs usually have a highly analytical, logical and creative mind. Therefore, they are sometimes referred to as strategists and architects. Let me share with you a common observation about most INTJs. You were probably misunderstood for the most part of your life. But not to worry, the fact that you comprehend things slightly differently than others is your gift. Secondly, INTJs are a rare breed. For example, most architects are INTJ and only this group makes up 2% of the total population. If you can identify as an INTJ, let us dive deeper into your personality, explore things only you can relate to, and determine how to own these skills to your advantage. How rare is an INTJ's personality? According to famous psychologist David Kiersey, Approximately 1-4% to of the population has an INTJ personality type. INFJ is the rarest personality type commonly known as a counselor. It occurs in just 2% of the population. It is also the rarest personality type in men. It stands for introversion, intrusion, and feeling and judging. You must have figured out up till now why this is the rarest combination to find. Here are a few characteristics that make an INTJ the most intelligent personality type. Number 1. INTJs are always focused on the future. An INTJ personality may remain trapped in the past, but only to use those experiences in a positive future goal. They are able to envision and keep their eye on their end result. By looking back at the wrong turn in a positive way, others may perceive it as a weakness. But the INTJ is focused and won't deviate until they have achieved their goal. Fortitude is your gift. Most people either remain trapped in the past or tend to focus on the future, but that is not the case with INTJs. They can envision a future goal, an ideal future, and work backwards to figure out how they will achieve that goal. This trait is a strength as well as a potential weakness of INTJs. As we've discussed in our first video, their introverted intuition is the most dominant function, which is why they will often find that they are always seeing the future world and all things that can be done perfectly. However, it is good to keep the future in perspective, but staying too focused on the future makes INTJs lose touch with the present. Number 2. INTJs tend to become overstimulated INTJs are not good with data processing. When it comes to architects, their most powerful tool is their extroverted sensing, which is the least developed of their functions. Resultantly, they get trapped inside their own head. That is why architects spend more time in an imaginary world built in their heads than in the real world. Loud noises, especially sensory disturbances, cause INTJs to become overstimulated. As a consequence, even the tiniest detail can overload them. Although the power of overstimulation makes them creative and imaginative, if you are an INTJ, please be careful while dealing with a lot of things at once. Number 3. INTJs strive for high efficiency INTJs strive for excellence, and they don't. Inefficiency is a big turnoff for them, and they can't take it any longer. They might seem unreasonable at times to people around them, but this is something that makes them one of the most intelligent people. They can't change it. INTJs are highly organized individuals and take pride in having almost everything they need. When an INTJ becomes a group leader, they will have high expectations and want everyone to be at one's A-game. It may appear to be a positive trait, but it isn't always the case. Sometimes this habit leads to chaos and laziness among team members. The trait may be desirable to some people, but it may be overwhelming to the majority. Number 4. INTJs are often referred to be cold and robotic. Many people think of INTJs as villains in movies. However, the truth is that architects have tertiary introverted feelings. As a result, they have a robust set of personal values and ethics that they try to follow. Usually, these values emerge in their 20s or 30s, but INTJs tend to hold to them no matter what. INTJs probably feel more deeply than most realize. Still, they keep their emotions in check and don't usually reveal them quickly. Number 5. INTJs hate things or projects that work on autopilot. Eventually, most INTJs reach a point in their careers when they know everything they could know about their career. They have a unique ability to produce high-quality work with minimal effort. Most INTJs love taking shortcuts. At the same time, they hate projects that run on autopilot for too long. The INTJ paradox is that they like knowing what they're doing efficiently, yet they feel confined when they do it for too long. INTJs are always looking for fresh ideas, so they get bored when things get predictable and straightforward. Number 6. INTJs love perfection, and they despise incompetence. 
there is a misconception that INTJs hate authority, although this isn't entirely correct. Most INTJs have no qualms about obeying superiors' orders as long as they know what they're talking about. It means authority doesn't irritate them. It is the people who are inept in their positions. For an INTJ being in a position of power doesn't earn them respect. Respect must be earned by showing competence in one's domain. Competency is more important than a courtesy. They don't hold back when criticizing someone for their poor performance. Consequently, INTJs develop a reputation for being difficult to handle. Number 7. When alone, INTJs rest well. INTJs have analytic, active brains, therefore, getting disconnected from their surroundings is easy. They may experience stress due to suppressing their weaker, extroverted sensing function for an extended period. Spending peaceful time in a natural setting is one method INTJs can overcome. Hiking alone in the woods, kayaking, canoeing, or fishing are all activities that INTJs mostly enjoy. Number 8. INTJs always want to have a plan. Some people like to go with the flow, believing that whatever happens, let it happen. These are bad companions of INTJs, as they're not people-pleasing personalities. They want everything to be meticulously planned ahead of time. There is no work like spontaneous on their list. INTJs usually make reservations for an alternative plan should something go wrong with their original one. This disruption causes them to be highly irritated. Number 9. INTJs love independence. INTJs require respect from others around them as they are fiercely autonomous. INTJs are prone to frustration and begin to push another way without regard to their independence. They want people to fulfill their goals with a sense of personal pride. Therefore, their sense of independence is a more significant part of who they are. INTJs are devoted to their loved ones, and they desire strong relationships. However, they are emotionally solid and make decisions based on facts and logics. They don't want an emotional connection to influence them. Mostly, they require interrupted time to make a decision on their own. Hardly do they ask for help from someone. For an INTJ, independence is taking care of oneself without relying on anyone. This is what keeps their minds clear and concentrated in the right place. These are the things that only an INTJ will understand. What makes an INTJ special? They are confident, complex problem solvers, able to see the possibilities in all areas of their life and that of others. Calling all INTJs. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. We want to hear all about it. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share and subscribe so that we may help you and your friends discover the power of your psyche.